the city of Glasgow, not the capital, but of course the largest city in Scotland. And for a second time, it is Scotland that hosts the prestigious World Badminton Championships. The fans have been pouring in all day and this is badminton at its very, very best. Well, uh, we're starting uh, this afternoon's evening session with uh, four uh, singles that involve left-handers. We've got the world number one, Son Wan Ho of Korea in his opening match. And then we've got a women's singles and Maniki, which is a very famous name in world badminton, up against Kate Fukun. Then we've got the left-handed Tanon Satsin Tsung Boon Sak, the number 11 seed. And then the match so many of the fans have come to see, the five-time former champion, Lin Dan of China, up against the Scottish number one, Kieran Merrilies. After that, we have Tommy Sugiato, who was bronze medalist at the World Championships in 2014. And then Rajiv Yusuf, the English number one, who happens to be the European champion. So, so much action to come still here at the Total BWF World Championships. So as far as the next match is concerned, the world number one, Song Wan Ho, is up against the left-handed uh, Kale Kulyanen of Finland. World number one, of course, Song Wan Ho, trying to make history here at the World Championships in Glasgow. He is the number one seed, as you can see, so this is obviously the top section of the draw and day one of the championships of course means that it is first round action in fact we will be seeing Tanon Sak Sing Tsung Boon Sak the number 11 seed there a little later on so Sun Wan Ho is hoping to become the first ever world champion from a career in any of the singles disciplines of course Korea have dominated and really thrived in the three doubles disciplines, but never have they won gold in either the men's or women's singles. Of course, they've had a couple of silver medalists in both those disciplines, but never a gold. Well, sitting alongside me is former head coach to the Danish national team, Lars Ua and Lars. I mean, I don't know whether you think that he's overwhelming favourite. Of course, there's a lot of sentimental support behind Lee Chong Wei. He's been in four finals, never won the final. Lin Dan is the most incredible athlete the sport has ever seen. We'll be seeing him later. But this man, well, I'm going to come back to you in a minute because he's 29 years of age. He is world number one, enjoying his 12th week at the top of the world rankings. So highest ranking obviously is not four, and he's currently number one. And Son Wan Ho is playing in his sixth World Championships, and the third consecutive time that he's been seeded. He was quarter finalist in Copenhagen three years ago, and as the number nine seed at the last World Championships, lost in the round of last 16. Now, as far as uh, Kale. Kuyulan is concerned, the left-hander, born in Helsinki. He has been as high as 69 one week last month, so he's just down from that. And I had the absolute pleasure of chatting to him a couple of hours ago when he was on the warm-up courts. And he's very excited about the opportunity to play against the world number one. He seems quite a character, Lars. I mean, he was saying, uh, I'm an aggressive player. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to give it all. Yeah, and he, he told me that he's, he's, uh, he knows that uh, Sun Wan Ho is, is uh, very strong in all areas, but uh, he wanted to try to give it a shot at his, his normal game and, and maybe even more aggressive than, than he normally plays. Well, what an opportunity on the big stage for Kale Coleman. Of course, we've had uh, players, as we're looking at our court officials, we've had players uh, from... Finland in the men's singles, regulars on the world tour. I'm thinking, of course, of players like uh, Villa Lang and Pontus Yanti. And the man who really 
achieved the 16 of the World Championships back in 1995. Robert Lilliquist, you, of course, remember him playing. I'm sure you play. Remember him well? You probably coached against him, did you? Uh, no, that was a, a little bit before my time, but but I know Robert uh, quite well from uh, from my years uh, working with the Finnish team. So uh, so yeah, I know who you're talking about. As yes, well as the former coach in Finland, we're going to be asking you all the inside scoop. Okay, ready, please. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right. Kali Kolyonen, Finland. And on my left, Son Wanho, Korea. Son Wanho to serve. Love all. Play. So this first round men's singles match gets underway. And so there's a bit of a gulf as far as the difference in world rankings are concerned. One suspects that the world number one Love. has never been in this position where he's been a favourite at a major competition, and one assumes that he might be just a fraction nervous or too experienced for that loss. Yeah, I, I think it it uh, won't show in in these first rounds. Um, of course, both players will will have to get uh, get acquainted to the uh, to the surroundings and, and playing in the hall, but. Um, but I think someone who uh, is, is pretty confident about uh, the match today. Uh, but it could show later on when uh, when he's uh, facing um, probably uh, more opposition. Seven over. Two, one. That's quick going forward. Yeah, and, and here we can see that, that uh, Kolyonen is, uh, is following uh, what, what he told us before the match, that, that he wanted to be aggressive and, uh, and wanted to, uh, to challenge Sun Wenho with, with uh, attacking play. Always just wide. Yeah. I understand that Kuljonen uh, actually is going to Three, play for Steen Pedersen's two. club in the Danish league. The former head coach and sitting in your seat just a moment ago before you. They've scooped him up for their club. Yeah, and he played in the Danish league um, for another club last year uh, already and, uh, and did, uh, did pretty well. So, uh, Four, so I'm sure that... That's why he, he has been offered a new contract in a, in a bigger club. And that's good judgment. Service over. Now we were Three, watching a little earlier on, four. Lars and. I know our colleagues seem to think that the drift was going towards the far side of the court as we look down. Your conclusions too? Yeah, um, and uh, especially that's that's what I've been told by uh, by coaches and players who has already been on that court. So um, so uh, I think we uh, we can agree on that, and that is is probably also why Colin was testing out the. The depth of his lift before, uh, because he knows that that if uh, the depth of his shots to the to the rear court is is not almost perfect, then he will get in trouble uh, from the attack uh, from Sinan Ho. Service over. Five, three. And he builds up a very good rally here, Kolyan, and um, moving Sinan Ho, keeping him at the rear court. Uh, under control, and, and then he can finish it off uh, when Sun Man Ho is playing a, a, a slightly short, uh, short clear, and uh, and Collion can, can come in with his attack. And I think he will be very happy with uh, with the way uh, the first game has started Play. here. Change. 
youngest of four children. One older brother and two older sisters. I always Four. have felt, Lars, that Five. when I watch So Man Ho, he seems very laid back. He, he never seems to panic. He never seems... At Sometimes I, I feel I want to see more passion from him on court, but he's a very measured character, isn't he? Yeah, but uh, it's it's uh, he's he's not an actor, uh, and, and he doesn't show a lot uh, when you sit far off. Uh, but I, I'm sure that when Six. you're standing right in front of him, you can Four. definitely feel him, and you can feel his passion. So it's 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 he's not a show off, but uh, but he's really determined and and uh, and quite intimidating actually um, in in his own uh, silent way on court. It's been called out. Yeah, but otherwise, it was a very good change of pace from uh, from Collion and then he was rushing for the net. Yeah, and unfortunately for him. Yeah, one's long. He isn't afraid to go for it, is he? No, and he's, he's very good in control in the front so court. Uh, he's higher uh, seven, in the front court than Son and Ho right now. Um, and that does him a lot of good. And we can see that he's also working on playing the rear court with, with a little more height. One time he, he played it too flat and, and So and Ho was killing it easily. Oh, that's magnificent. Straight down the line from Son and Ho. Over. Yeah, and this list Six, was high enough, but but uh, it was way too short, and uh, you have to have both the height and and the right length. Sun Wenho uh, has realized that the, the real battle is, is around the front court and the net, so uh, he has moved forward and, and is taking up the, the fight around the front court to control the game from there. So it's over. Eight. Yeah, he decided awfully early, didn't he? It was going to go wide. Yeah, just slightly off balance, wasn't he? That's probably why he made the error. So it's over. And that's one of the things you have to be very, very careful about, uh, not to get too eager uh, and, and start attacking when he's not in position, because... Uh, as a counter player, uh, Sun Man Ho is uh, is one of the best in the world. So um, so he has to choose his uh, his moments of attack uh, very carefully. No, we've done it. Nine, eight. Well, I haven't really seen him play before. Lars, but I'm wondering whether, given his personality of wanting to go out and attack and his his willingness to tell both of us individually that that's what he was going to do. I wonder whether he's got the patience. You've just said he needs to choose his moment carefully, and I'm wondering whether he's got the character Seven to be able to do that at this level. Nine. Yeah, and that's that's oh. what we what we have to to wait and see. But but that's the difficult part, and another difficult part of it is that. He has played very, very well. He's, he has opened the game very well and, and followed his tactics. But the score was 8-all, 
uh, and, and then sometimes oh. when you play better players, you feel, but well, I have to do even more than this. But but if you've already played so your so best, good. then you can't do <laughs> yeah. any any more nice. because then you'll start making uh, errors. So so uh, I think he should uh, follow his plan. Maybe make small adjustments, but uh, but he's actually played uh, overall a, a very good uh, first half of the first game. Yeah, to the mid game intro, the world in the number one, the number one seed, someone Ho, with a two point advantage. Ten minutes into the match, 11 9. Make sure to get defender. And then, if you have a chance, make make him drop, but do not too slow. Or something else. Many, many crosses, okay. Nah. Because you have a receive. Two coaches there. Angus Gleeson also. Yeah, and the Finnish coach is... Uh, also, uh, Indonesian Santoso, uh, Imam Teko Santoso, uh, who has been in uh, in Finland for a couple of years now. 11, 9, play. Uh, that's a clever smash, I like that, towards the right Sounds hip over. of someone who... I know we've discussed it many times before. I think it's an un underused shot in singles disciplines that one to the hip. It's so more likely that the players hit down the sidelines. Uh, I don't know if I totally agree on that. It's it's among the top players. It's it's a very common shot and, and uh, oh. um, the best of them they variate a lot. So so they variate the speed and they variate the placement. Uh, close to the lines and, and then sometimes to the body because it's it's very difficult as as the defending player to uh, to cover or it's impossible to to be ready for for all of it yeah absolutely and we saw that that this one uh, took Sun Manho uh, by surprise mm. oh my goodness ah, very well played yeah well, he did well to keep his concentration, did Kulyanen. Because he must well, have seen from 11, his peripheral right, vision right this before. little slip there from Solman Ho. And then this uh, straight re reverse slice uh, from the forehand is, is one of his uh, his favourite shots, uh, one of the shots he does best. So, uh, But he used it at, a, at the... At a perfect time here, and, and I'm sure the, the Finnish coach uh, agrees with us that uh, that Kolyanen needed a little more patience. At least that's mm. the way he has started out after the, the mid-game interval here, and, and yeah. uh, that has been, been very efficient. Yes, all three points since the mid-game interval. 12, 11, play. Nice. And so smash straight down the line from his deep forehand corner. There we watch the world number one hit straight down the line with a smash from his deep backhand corner. Both sides played with accuracy. Yeah, and, and Sun Wen Ho is, is not the player with the biggest smash in the, on the world tour, but but the placement is is uh, extraordinarily good and especially from the uh, the backhand corner there, he, he tends to slice it a little bit, so it's actually going away from the defender towards the sideline, um, and then it's it's very difficult to, uh, first of all, return it, but second of all, uh, to, to give it an angle, as Kolyanen was trying in, in this last rally. Mm. It's almost as if that little scare with the slip from someone home, whether he's just upped his game a bit, he looks to be flowing now. There's me worried about being injured. 
Yeah, I don't know if it's, it's so much the, uh, the risk of being injured, but it's, it's, uh, I think he realized that he had to, as he did before the interval, uh, he had to be a little more aggressive uh, if he leaves the, all the initiative to, to Collion, and then, uh, then he's controlling the game too well. is class. How did he take that off the top of the tape? 15, the timing 12. on this is incredible. Yeah, but he anticipates that that Collion um, wants to keep the net, uh, spin it back, and, and then uh, as soon as it, it just slightly passes the tape, then uh, he's ready to, uh, to attack it. Very well played. There's another beautiful net shot from the left hander. Yeah, and when he plays with patience and, and gets the control of the rallies, then he's really building up some, some nice uh, nice rallies calling him and shows good touch on the on the net here as well. He may not be a household name, but we should remember that he's been in seven international tournament finals. Oh, well reached. That's just one. Yeah, seven finals, winning two titles in 2015, the Hungarian International Series. And a year later in Norway. Uh, international series event, so not the elite tier of tournament in World Badminton, but a solid professional around the tour, full-time player. Yeah, and, and his top level is, is, is quite high. He uh, in this spring he he actually had match point against uh, the Danish rising star in the sentence. So, um, so, uh, so he's, he's definitely got potential. Yeah. Seventy. He's got to be a little bit careful. His uh, little pushes down someone Ho's forehand corner, I think, are just a little too flat. Yeah, and, and he has to be very careful with, with playing too flat uh, when, when he's lifting. Uh, so, uh, and that again comes back to, to the patient. Here we can see a good lift, and then he's in control. But Sun Wen Ho reaches the shuttles very high in the front court now, and that leaves uh, less options for Collion and to, to get in with his attack. So, challenge from Sun Wen Ho, our first challenge of the match. Now, what does Hawkeye think? Caught the line. Good call, line judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So it's over. 14, 18. Two challenges Play. per game. Permission is very like tennis. If you're proved right, you keep your challenge. So if you have a three game match, a possibility of six challenges. Working hard, isn't he? The left-hander. 
Yeah, and the attack he, uh, Kolyan is making in, in, uh, in this rally is, is uh, of no use because uh, Sun Wen Ho is in perfect balance and and uh, is actually just enjoying uh, to get the shuttle downwards and, and then he can uh, just direct it where he where he wants to and Kolyan is working a lot harder than, than Sun Wen Ho in, in this particular rally. Some game point opportunities game point for the world the number one. Game. Oh, that's a little wild. First game. 21, 14, the opening game. down in the very early stages coming back strongly the number one seed Son Wan Ho 19 minutes for game number one 21-14 yeah. this is about the you can prove it but important is in the net is something to pass pass to something to something to not too slow sometimes you want to save yourself but you have any many many chances number two about mentality make one point not easy for him something to yeah, Well, I'm not sure if you managed to catch any of that, Lars, but I certainly heard uh, Kale talking about patience, so he knows himself exactly what you've been saying. Yeah, I, I think he is, he's quite aware of what, uh, or they both are, what, what he, has, he has to do. It, it's just so tough to, uh, to do it uh, against a player like Son Wen Ho because his, his defence is so solid and as soon, we have seen as soon as... Uh, as Kalunen is playing a little bit bad quality, to, especially to the rear court, then uh, then uh, someone who will will kill it. So it's uh, it's a matter of of, of uh, for him to Second continue game. to do what he's done so well, um, and, and then see it, if if he can keep the quality. Play. So second game. Yeah, and Sunman Host is trying uh, once again what was, he was successful with in the first game here to uh, to rush for the net, but Kolyan then stays back and, and is just waiting for for the push, uh, which was very clever. Service over. One. Oh. See a slight hesitation in this shot from Kolyanen, and then it just uh, slips off his racket and, and stays on, on his own side of the net. Oh yes, that's well played from someone Ho. On the 25th of May earlier this year, became only the second player from his country to reach the status of world number one. Lee Hun Hin, of course, was the other. He was world number one for just one week in February back 2004. So it's over. Two. Oh. And here we can see that, that the flat lifts uh, or the flat, flat play a little bit upwards is, is also dangerous for Sun Man Ho when, when he's choosing it at, at the wrong time. Well punished by Kolyanen. But he hasn't, he hasn't found the way to, to play the rear court from, uh, from this far side uh, and that frustrates him a little bit, Kolyanen. Uh, and he has to keep working on that because it's so crucial uh, in in this match.
He's been pushed and pulled, made to twist and turn. Call you none. Yes, sir. He keeps so much in balance, doesn't he? The Korean with his movement, he leaps in the air and immediately his body weight is moving forward. Yeah, and the quality from of, of the lift from Kolyan is not the same uh, or hasn't been up until now in, in, uh, in this game. So uh, the attack from Sun Man Ho is, is uh, very hard for him to defend and especially to, uh, to play it with quality. Uh, and that's why he... He gets into so much Play. trouble uh, every time he lifts, actually. This one's better. Oh, yes. Five, Look at this movement again. Two. The leap is moving forward as he lands. The gymnastic ability to be able to do that is... Fantastic. Oh, that's going to land oh. short, surely. Oh, challenge here. Well, the umpire has called it in. So, Man Ho wants another look at that because there are no front service line judges. of the match for Song Wan Ho, the second time. Correction. He's proved right. First occasion, of course, he was proved wrong. Yeah. So on this second occasion, much better judgment from Six, two. the Korean. Play. Oh, there's a challenge here uh, from uh, Kale. I think that's a good choice. It's, from where we sit, it, it looked a little bit wide. Well, Hawkeye will uh, adjudicate for us and tell us for sure. Oh, well done, Lars. Correction out. Service over, 3-6, play. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, very good follow-up here at the net from uh, after the, the smash towards the body. And, and uh, one of the advances is of, of smashing towards the body is that it's very difficult for the opponent to, to give it an angle. So a lot of times you will end up with, uh, with a, an opportunity uh, in the middle of the court at the, at the net after that kind of a smash. I don't know whether he was Service in doubt over. there, if it was out, but uh, Seven, it clearly wasn't. Four. Was a little bit over ambitious shot from the round the head. Going wide. One just Eight, senses that four. this is perhaps the moment where the world number one is beginning to take real control. This is where Kale Kulyanen has got to really focus and dig deep. seemed impossible that he could play that across court. Five, eight. 
Hoog. Yeah, and, and the build up to uh, to the finish there is is uh, very good, um, very good patience and, and good quality in the lifting now from uh, both backhand and forehand side of the net, and uh, and that's crucial because then he gets these opportunities a little bit in the rallies after after a few shots, uh, but if he he gets in trouble uh, every time he lifts, as, as he did in the beginning of this game, then, uh, then it's too hard for him to get out of it. But uh, this rally was, uh, was very well played. Oh, good net play. And what I've been impressed about is he isn't afraid to take on the world number one at the net. Six, eight. No, but that was also what what uh, what I felt when I was talking to him before the match that that uh, he was ready to take up the challenge and and he he wasn't intimidated by uh, by Sun Man Ho, um, but he also respected. <laughs> I had a lot of respect because, as he said, he's he's good at everything, so it's. Um, yeah. He did well to get Seven, the first two, one back, but the nine, dominance six. from the front of the court from Son Wan Ho. Look, he makes his opponent stretch. He's late back to his base position. It's only a matter of time before Son Wan Ho can finish off the rally. Yeah, and I think Kolyon's tactics has been right. It's it's just a little bit too hard for him to uh, uh, to execute um, all the time. Uh, but in uh, in some parts of the game, he has done it very well and, and mm. played some uh, some really beautiful rallies and, and some some nice badminton. Service over seven ten. Over 11 7 interval. So to the mid game interval with a four point advantage. Someone hole. But he's been made to work for this. Try first, make and draw first. Number two, if defend, yeah, do not be easy. Some make difficult. Something. Some things, not just, just receive here. Some things, defend close is okay. Something in there. That's number three. If you have a net, it's good. Something, something. Just, just, just. Yeah, one time is okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Balance more, more strength, right? Then, if all in, if you just hold it, just hold it. If you 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 hold it, Seven. Yeah. Lars, I was mentioning right at the start of this match Seven. that Korea have won gold medals in men's doubles, women's doubles, and mixed doubles, but never a gold in men's singles or women's singles. But of course, they've had a silver medal in both of the singles disciplines. Mm. A silver medal in Lausanne in 1995 with Park Sung-woo. And a year, seven. or rather two years before that, because the World Championships used to be every two years, in Birmingham in 1995. And the women's singles, Bang Soo Hyun, lost in the final. Yeah, and it's it's amazing they haven't succeeded uh, in winning a world championship uh, just like this with uh, with Malaysia, uh, yeah. with the level they've had for so many years, yeah. and uh, that and they they haven't had that uh, that one break where where everything uh, works for them is uh, is incredible because yeah. uh, they definitely uh, have had the quality to uh, to have a world champion also in men's singles. 
four times the player's medal in total. Frustrating for him. Worked Victory. hard in that rally. Seven. Look at the effort. Try and take it early at the front of the court. Yeah, and as, as all uh, Finnish players, he's, he's not afraid to work, Koljonen, but, but the problem is he, he has to work at a higher, higher speed than he's used to, and, uh, and there's also a lot of uh, demands for the quality of his shots and, and the shot selection. So uh, I think it's... It's becoming a little bit too overwhelming now. Mm. Um, and obviously, Son Manho is, is feeling very com confident and comfortable now. Oh, what a good choice here again. Yeah. So it's over. Won five straight points. Eight, he was absolutely waiting for that, wasn't mm. he? Smash. Yeah, brilliant accuracy here. Caught the outside edge <laughs> of the line. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the coach, a sigh of relief from him. was spinning ferociously and it's desperately difficult to control because it hits the top of the tape as it goes over that spin made it a lot more awkward than it looked yeah and we could also see the column and chose very wisely to do a control kill instead of killing it with uh, full power because that's when oftentimes you you mistime it a little bit and and there's a risk of, of making an error Decision from Song Man Ho. Yeah, and before that, a, a very good deception at the net from Collin. And he, he plays one of the few clears of, of the match, and uh, that surprises uh, Song Man Ho. Mm, what's happening here? Well, I know that it was five straight points to Son Wan Ho. It's been five straight points in response right. from uh, Kul Yunan. It was a pity for Kul Yunan because he was waiting for the push from uh, Son Wan Ho and, and ready to, uh, to counter attack it. He just overdid it a little bit and, and it was long. Over 30, 16. Oh, I 
like that change of pace. Yeah, and that's what he's been successful with uh, uh, in the period he's, he has played well in, in the match. And very deceptive here, he, he shows that he wants to do a, a powerful attack and, and then he plays this uh, one of his favourite shots, the, the reverse slice. It's a very good lift. Oh, my goodness, I don't believe it. That is fantastic by the left-hander. How on earth did he get that back? Yeah, it's very well retrieved, but the problem in the rally is that, that Sun Wan Ho is, is uh, every time he plays the net, he moves backwards, he wants to go back and, and play attacking shots from the rear court. And Collion sees that and, and plays it back at the net, and in that way he keeps the initiative. Um, I think it's time for, for Sun Wan Ho to, to stay at the net uh, after one of his, his good net shots and, uh, and maybe try to kill it as he has done it before, but, but uh, at least to, uh, to force Collion to, uh, to play a lift. Yeah. Well, he's just won eight of the last nine rallies as the left-hander. Make that nine of the last ten rallies. Yeah, and he tried a little bit more at the net here, uh, Sun Ho, but, but uh, it was a little bit half-hearted. And, and Colin, and he's, uh, he's going for full, so, uh, so that's why he, uh, he ends up uh, winning the battle around the net. Well... I wouldn't have thought I'd be saying 16 all when someone Ho was leading 15 7. This is a remarkable run from Koyan. Oh, no, I think the Korean lost a little bit of focus and, and uh, thought it, it was all over. Um, but you don't do that against a Finnish player because they, they never give in. Uh, no. that's, that's in the, the Finnish culture. So, uh, so if you leave the opportunities open a little bit, then. Uh, and they fight their way back. What a good rally. Yep. Outmaneuvered in the end. And the problem with hitting those cross-court shots from deep in court, if your opponent does read it, as someone who did on this occasion, look, he steps in just the simple straight block, and, of course, uh, Kulyanen has the full diagonal of the court to scamper. Well, that's not the longest rally of this second game. We had one a moment ago at 38, didn't we? But it was still long enough to, uh, to make Kulyanen... Uh, getting too eager and, and uh, the, the last two attacks there was was too early because uh, Sun Wan Ho was, was in perfect balance in defence uh, and he doesn't have the one shot to uh, to win there Colin he has to to make a series of attacking shots in, in order to get through the uh, the defence of uh, the Korean Punch clear. Nine someone hope. Sixteen. That's the one. Look how off balance the left hander is there. Yeah, and, and there hasn't been a lot of clears in in uh, in this match, but uh, but both players have have done them. The few they've done successfully, uh, because it takes the opponent by surprise. Well, four straight points from 16 all 20. to bring up four match point 16. opportunities.
game. One will do. 21-14, 21-16. But what a spirited fight uh, by uh, the left-hander from Finland. Pele Kunjanen has done himself proud today That's against the world number one. But their confirmation uh, that someone who has got through his first match. 21-14, 21-16. Well, he'll be pleased with that. He got used to the conditions, someone hope. And just stopped his game when was necessary. And it was all level at 16 all. But perhaps his coaches will be a little bit concerned that from 15-7 up, he then promptly lost nine of the next 10 points. But that was due in very large part uh, to uh, the left-hander from Finland. So as they take leave of the courts, we have an opportunity to look back at some of the highlights of that men's singles. City of Glasgow goes to the Total BWF World Championships 20 years after they first hosted these World Championships. Of course, this is the 23rd staging of this most prestigious of events. Commonwealth Arena and Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome, better known as the Emirates Arena. And our next match, we turn our attention to women's singles. And it is another left-hander, Kate Fukun, up against a name that's very familiar in the world of badminton. Manaki. This time it is Liani Alessandra Manaki. So as far as uh, this part of the draw is concerned, uh, this first round encounter is for the right to play against the number five seed, Sun Yu of China. The other seed, as you can see in this section, is Corrales of Spain, the number 15 seed. Yanni Alexandria 